this trip. He thinks that the show is just his. It's gonna be mine. <laughs> Isn't this fun, guys? <laughs> yeah, Tim. Dude, man, we're best friends forever. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. We travel around to different food festivals where we eat all the eats, we drinks all the drinks, and we get all types of crazy while giving you guys the most raw and realest food reviews in the game. This, this is Send Foods. What's good, you sexy motherfuckers? I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. Welcome back to another episode of Send Foods, and this time we're in beautiful Newport Beach at this bougie ass Newport Beach Wine and Food Festival. You know how bougie it is? It's $250 a goddamn ticket here, man. Bro. I'm telling you right now, we don't belong here. So check it out. Usually when we're at festivals like this, you know, our first instinct is like, we want to rob these mother But we're not going to do that this time. This time, we're going to be nice because we are going to try and walk away with some beautiful white cougar sugar mamas. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking this. Okay, so we're here at Puesto, and what the f is this? This is gonna be our fresh hamachi yellowtail tostadita. Sweet, thank you. Fantastic, Enjoy right there. It. We're gonna go eat it and talk yeah. about yes. it. Now. Thank you. Here we go. So here we have a tostadita, which is like uh, you know a small tostada. Anytime you put a ita or ito on something, that just means it's small. Yeah, you know little pinito, eh? <laughs> But I also used to mess with this girl. Instead of calling me papi, she was like, oh, papacito. And I was like, oh my God, that's so hot. <laughs> Nobody's ever called me that. Because you're not a cito, you're a grande. Oh, papa grande. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's try this out. I got two because they're serving food for children here, apparently. <laughs> the f for the little niño. At $250, you better give me a real, some real food. It's for the papacito. Oh, for my pinito. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good bite. Mmm. Oh. Ooh. Get this real. Get this real good too. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Wow. That um. creamy avocado, that smoky guajillo chili. The you, hamachi is super fresh. Yeah. And the little bit of that bonito in there, huh? That smoky little fish flavor in that avocado is really good. It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. Yeah. How about you guys get better portions? I'm starving. <laughs> Flawless cuisine. You are? Laura Mollins. So what do we have here? I made some dandan dan noodles today. So cool. we have oh. some egg noodles with some ground pork, a dandan dan sauce that's got peanut butter in it, two different kinds of soy sauce. I specialize in Asian cuisine. So oh, for sure. Oh, it's good. Thank cool. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take a bite. Oh, we will. We don't want to do it in front of you. I know, it's too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so let's try this lady's noodles. And if we don't like the noodles, we can get her to be sugar mama. How is this supposed to taste? It doesn't taste bad. It's not dandan noodles, though. That's because, like, I kind of had a preconceived thought in my head of what I thought dandan dan noodles was supposed to taste like. And it's different from this. Like, it's good, but it's just not what I expected. You feel me? I mean, it's like Asian flavored noodles, heavy on the sesame oil, but I wouldn't really call these dandan dan noodles. It's very good, though. This is really good. I would order this, I would eat this. This is not dandan dan noodles, and that's what I was worried about. Okay. Sugar mama it is. Good job though, it tastes great. But if we want to talk about some authentic ass Asian noodles, bro, we ate at this fire ass Cambodian noodle spot in Long Beach called Phnom Penh. What's up, y'all? We in beautiful Long Beach, California, out here at Phnom Penh, reportedly one of the most popping Cambodian spots in the game. First of all, this is my dude Van. How long has this been open, Doc? Uh, we've been open since 1985. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I've actually never really had Cambodian food, so so I'm, I'm hype right now. Okay. You know, I know Thai and Cambodian food is like sim super similar. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready, bro. I got you, man. Show me your world. Let's all go. Right, let's do it. Mm. So this is the number one dry. Okay. With the side of pork bone soup. Oh Ooh. my God. This is the house special here, but it's called Kutil Phnom Penh. Oh, Kutil Phnom Penh. Kutil. You know what, Kutil, that's the same thing in Thai. Uh, noodles in Thai is There you go, kutil. see, it's really similar. So we're all just the same, man. But we're not the same, you mother Wait, how are we supposed to eat this though? 
It depends on your like your preference. Your well, how would you do it then? Because I'm about to do this. <laughs> Bam! Uh, one of these things right, right there. Okay. Put some lime in it, and then I'll add uh, the garlic chili. Right this here. right here. Yeah, and that's an imported Thai sriracha right there. Oh, oh. oh Thai sriracha. Uh -huh. It's a little sweeter than the than the commercial uh -huh. sriracha. You know, sriracha is actually a city in Thailand. If y'all ain't know. Yeah, you got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is good though. Well, it's a little sweet. Uh huh. Maybe a little one in this one here. Well, sh let me just, look. yeah, I definitely want to taste some broth just by itself, see how that is. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, fire. Oh my god, that's so good. How oh, that? what's it taste like to you? You know, it's like uh, salty, sweet, like you can taste like the, the meat in it, that, that like nice like fattiness mm. from the bone. Mm. When you have some good broth, like it just kind of like, uh, it, 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 your spirit it, it hugs your tummy, Yeah, you know? I think like what I like about Cambodian food, just like what I like about Thai food, mm -hmm. it, it's the flavors are never subtle. It's like right in your fucking face. Mm -hmm. Just like Thai people, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a first little little flavor here. Oh, look at this! Look, Thank at, you. Babe. look at all this meat right here, dude. Mm, that's what he said. Mm-hmm. Man, falls right off the bone. Has like all that like fat and that connective tissue just kind of melts away. You got a lot of different flavors happening at once but this all comes together real nice. Next dish, uh, the beef stew. How you, how you say this? Um, Gatil kako. Gatil kako. We got some uh, Chinese donuts. This right here is probably one of my favorite things. I love this. About Asian cuisine. Uh, Korean people don't have this shit, so. Ha <laughs> ha, losers. <laughs> how you say loser in Korean? Loser. <laughs> Yeah, this donut is super airy, super light, but it's also a little chewy too. It just soaks up everything uh, good about an Asian broth. In this. I love this. Shit. Yeah. My mom uses this shit to cook with like, she'll take like a, a meaty gravy thing and she'll pour it all over this. She dips this shit in condensed milk in the morning, eats it with her coffee. This shit good with everything. It's like a baguette and a croissant had a baby. Yes, yeah, dude. Let's, let's do a little dip here. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that's so far. The tomatoes, the carrots, add this very pleasant sweetness to this, man. Mm. A little lime, just so I don't get Tim's eyes. Of course, he doesn't care about mine. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, I got me some, uh, a nice little hearty pizza, pizza of, uh... <laughs> got me some um, tripe in here. I don't know if y'all f*** with the tripe. It's the inner lining of the cow's stomach, but the texture's kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? I, I like it. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh man, so all those like inner organ parts and that gelatinous like coating on your mouth. Gelatinous you get, coating in your mouth. mouth. That you get from all these parts actually affect the uh, viscosity of the soup. You get <sighs> viscosity. <laughs> viscosity. Who are you here with? Oh, my husband. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought you were single. I was like, oh. Right. Oh yeah, dad, I got a good old dad, a 70 year old dad. Yes, nice meeting you. We're gonna have sex later. A lot of it too. And I'm gonna record it. Your mojo's gone, bro. No, 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 I still got it. Um, nice hat. Let me show you how it's done, Tim. <laughs> I'm going to rob you. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Who are you? I'm Eric. I'm at Orange Hill Restaurant. Sweet. So we've got 100% grass-fed beef coming out of Tasmania. It's actually aged on the hoof, so it's about five years old when it goes What does that mean, aged on the hoof? So it's about five years old when it goes to the slaughter. Typical beef is going about 18 months. Oh. So it's much, much older. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Aged on the hoof. Aged on the hoof. Thank you. My mom said about me. Hoof. Hoof. Now you can't go wrong with just some good old classic meat and potatoes. 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 Smoked potato puree. They braise these carrots in a veal stock. I should be looking at this camera. That's where I f***ed up. Oh well, f*** it, keep it in. <laughs> All right, Tim, cheers. Oh, yay. Mm-hmm. Meat and potatoes, dude. Meat and potatoes. You know what I love about a bougie event like this? The steak and the meat is always a nice medium rare. Always. Bougie people know how to cook their steak. Steak is really good, man. Super tender. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but from tasting it, I feel like that was uh, raised on the hoof. Astute. Astute. Ah, bless you. 
So, there's a lot of wine up here. I noticed. Well, can we have some, please? Absolutely. Yeah. What the hell is that in there, dude? Oh, you have to, yeah, this is, uh, dump it right down the throat. Sauvignon Blanc, Zinfandel, or three Cabernets? I will do the Zinfandel. I will do the three Cabernets. That's a, that's a blend. I can blend them all in your glass. Let's do one by one. <laughs> I was like, oh, the three Cabernets sounds good. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Oh, remember, David, men drink with one pinky up, which we learned from our etiquette classes that we took yesterday. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Tim. How are you, Tim? David. David. Nice I'm to meet Giselle you. Boone. Nice to meet you. I'm your etiquette instructor. After this, we'll teach you our methods of eating. <laughs> there's, there's the Filipino style where you just grab your hand and you shove it in your face. Yeah. Not exactly proper, but anyway, I want you to meet my two beautiful assistants. We have the reigning Miss Balboa, yeah. Island, Elizabeth, and we have our regional top model, Shaylee. Wow. <laughs> They're more important than us. <laughs> okay, so are you ready? We yes. will start with the napkin. So everybody grab your napkin. I know what to do. Open it properly. And then you place it actually on your lap. What? Gently Get on your lap. Out of here, it doesn't go to your neck. What? But then how do you keep the food from getting all over your you chest? Have you put the food in your mouth. Sure. Yeah. So I'm going to test you guys. Do you start on the outside or do you start on the inside? I remember <laughs> on Titanic, they told Jack to start on the outside. Correct. You guys have to start on the outside. Good job, guys. You guys are amazing. Oh, make sure you cut very small pieces. Small pieces. That's right. You're embarrassing me. Sorry. And then you switch hands. So that's how we call the American style. But what if, wait, how do you know which hand to start with? So if you're right-handed, you would have the knife on your right. Oh, I already messed up. The fork on the left. So it's called switch to switch. Oh, then I go back to my, oh my oh, gosh, hitter, this is hitter. crazy. Oh, like Arya Stark. Yeah, oh. so there's actually an organization that actually counts how many times you can switch. What? And the more you switch, the better you are. Okay. And when you're, how you like that? That was really close to my face, idiot. When you're actually chewing, make sure you close your mouth. Yeah, David. What are you talking Let's about? Let's try it. Ready? Mm -hmm. I apologize for my savage friend. He just came mm. to this country. Mm. What do I do with this Brussels sprout here? Mm. Mm. Ah. No elbows. Oh my gosh, no elbows. Mm -hmm. So let's say someone's asking you a question and you have food in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is signal. Mm -hmm. you go, hold on a second. Let me chew my food before I say something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. Concentrate, boys. It's not proper. That's not proper. Okay, so now let's learn how to use your drinking glass. Oh, yes, please. So for women, we actually have to use our pinky and the other finger, the ring finger, to be out oh. when you're drinking. For gentlemen, only one will be the pinky should be out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not making any noise. Oh, no noise. No noise. There you go. Smaller mouth. <laughs> oh, no dripping. No dripping. Posture, guys. Posture. Ah, yes. We must always have good posture. Let's go ahead and talk to the ladies. Okay. Go, 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 go. You have very nice skin. Oh, thank you. You have the skin of a four-year-old's butt. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You have this proper idiot. All right. All right. You can say bouté. Bouté. Oh, bouté. Oh, bouté. Mm -hmm. Or bum bum. Or oh, bum bum. Okay. What you doing after this? Tim. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's my what? date. Your, sorry, your sorry. date's right here. What? She's underage. What? You don't have to hit on her. You just have to talk to her, dude. What's wrong with you, man? Bouté. <laughs> no? So do you guys have any hidden talents? Uh, magic. Oh, cool. Do you want to show us? Ah, sure. So. Mm. That is amazing. Apparently, you can also make your career disappear as well. <laughs> <laughs> you must open your mouth very slightly. So can we do that again? Smaller bites. A little smaller. Smaller bites. Let me see how small your mouth could be. A little smaller. Smaller than that. Smaller? <laughs> you can try again. Let's do another time. Let me try one more time. Let's try one more time. <gasps> very small. You are also turning me on. Here we go. <clears throat> A little bigger. A little bigger. Bigger, smaller. Don't use your teeth. Here we go. Let's put it back. Good. Good job. That's oh my fantastic. God. That's quite fantastic. Oh. Son of a... Mm. That's a little improper. What's the... Oh, okay. So I didn't yes. know. Yes. We can't burp. 
I think we learned some. That was good, dude. Mm -hmm. That was good. See, that's teamwork. Now you do it to him. Very light, very lightly, light. Is loud laughter not allowed at the dinner It's table? not allowed. Oh. Not allowed. Oh, how do we have fun? You know, like the, you laugh like the, the Japanese girls in the video. Oh, <laughs> it's so slimy. You don't even have to open your mouth at all. Okay, do it. Oh, I just slurp it right up. Mm, that fork is really deep. Yeah, that went Maybe pretty not deep. not too deep. <laughs> yeah. Before I was doing this, I was doing something else for a living. You might puncture your tongue. Mm -hmm. It's not good. You don't know how good I am at my other job. Well, thank you for this lesson. You're welcome. You guys are welcome to come back again. Hello. Hi, Hi there. Good, how are you? Who are you? We are Five Browns and Cyborg in front of Omar. Sweet, and what do we have here? What is it? This is a delicious prime rib beef pie with some blue Ooh. cheese root vegetables with a bit of butter and salt. Oh, damn, Ooh. you're fancy. Well, thank you. Enjoy. Okay, I'm ready for this. I love when you got a beefy, cheesy situation inside a nice, crispy, crunchy crust, you know? English people know how to make meat pies. It's probably the only thing that they're good at making. Oh, that and fish and tea, chips. Tea? That's an Asian thing, mother True. <laughs> I like this because it reminds me of uh, a Hot Pocket, which I grew up on back in the day. Very good. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, oh. Little funkiness from that blue cheese. Sweet. Savory, that meat is fing tender as shit. This crust is fing fire, man. Oh. Oh my god. Man, this crust reminds me of like a butter cookie or something. Yeah, yeah, like the way it crumbles apart, nice and soft, and like, oh. Yeah, it's so good! That is so good! That's so good! She was looking at me like I was crazy. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What the f is this? Okay, so this. <laughs> We have seared off the tuna and mm -hmm. the sauce and soy sauce, olive oil, lime pickle, top with a fresh jalapeno. Okay. You get a big on No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. a little tiny one here. Because I know that sometimes the small ones got the best flavor. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about the size. You know what I'm saying. I'm she knows. She knows. <laughs> Thank you. You don't know what he said. He's crazy. <laughs> you can't go wrong with just a nice, fatty, fresh piece of ahi tuna. Oh, yes. Mmm, that's a good piece of meat right there. Mmm. It reminds me of um, Japanese tuna tataki. It's like, um, I don't know, like an Italian American version of it. I eat tuna. Sometimes it's good by itself, you ain't gotta add to it. But this sauce, super popping too. Salty, that little fresh jalapeno on top adds a nice little kick to it. That's tasty. And speaking of fresh ass fish, yesterday we went out on a whole ass boat and learned how to fish. All right, y'all, we out here in beautiful Newport Beach, about to go fishing. Now, let me tell you, I've only been fishing like uh, once in my whole <laughs> life, and I'm ready to learn some things. We got our boy Russ here. Come on, Hello. So, come on. Hey. So, uh, so what, are we, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna go out here just outside the harbor here, head south. We're gonna do a little inshore fishing. All right, well, let's do it. <laughs> All right, come on board. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. the H Korean technique. We didn't have rods in Korea, so what we would do... <laughs> it doesn't work that way. This is what you do. So you just let one swim up there like that. You just... Oh, wow. It's not about being rough and hard. It's gentle. Yeah. Gentle. This is why I have terrible sex. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Gentle. <laughs> Look at that. You see? Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> like a little <laughs> <laughs> What's this remind you of? <laughs> We're just learning a lot of like sex ed today, huh? All right, what am I doing here? All right, just just hold that. Uh -huh. Pull that thing, that, that lever down. Oh, pull this lever down, yeah. uh huh. Oh, okay, there okay, you go. I got there you, go. I got you. Drop that. Holding on to that. There you oh, go. Okay, and I'm just doing pull that. that. Oh, God, the boat is moving. Oh, and I'm so tall. How are we doing over here? I think I'm still then, going. Oh, right. God, Whoops. this boat is tossing me around. I'm going to lean against this wall. There you go. This is how I used to catch women, too. Come here, just give them a little. Hey, yeah, you <laughs> like that? Right over here, huh? I have a good credit score. David, can you hand me my beer? Sorry, I interrupted I your joke. You. Thank you. <laughs> I was telling a great story <laughs> about my people and how we used to go straight into the water and just pierce the fish with our <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling over there, bro? 
<laughs> Grandpa so, man. All I ever wanted to do was just grab a rod and bring in a fish. And he was like, no, you're too fat. You're gonna capsize the boat. Which was true. Still. Oh my God. <gasps> Keep reeling. Is something on there? Oh my God, it's a fish. Whoa. Oh, hey, little guy. What the kind of fish? All right, is so that's a calico bass. Calico bass? Yeah, they're nice catch. Oh, those are the ones you put on the wall and you push yeah, the button and they sing. They get up to 32 inches long. Whoa. Believe it or not, these things get really big. So they gotta be at least 14 inches long to keep. That is not 14 ah. inches. No. So we love A lot of go. guys would think it's 14 inches. Right. But the ladies know. The ladies know. They know what's up. I'm gonna catch something, god damn it. Oh, sh I think a fish caught something. Yep, 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 yep. <gasps> oh, you would do this to me. You're like, it's a big one. You do it. You got this, dude. Oh, my God. This thing will not turn. Look at there. Slow it down. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Grab this camera shot. Yeah. That is that is kelp and that is bass. It's a kelp bass. Cool. <laughs> so this one is still too small to keep, huh? Yeah, too too small. Look, it's not always about size, okay, guys? <laughs> that was a strong one. As long as it's, as long as it's strong, Let's have a good fight. I'm gonna hold my comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wait a second. You got something, dip. Wait a second. Timothy. Come on, you mother Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you bitch. What the hell is that disgusting thing? You bitch. Oh, it's little though. Oh, that's a rockfish. Rock it's a rock. Yeah. Wow. Tim finally caught one. Right. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Right. You can definitely clean up and eat. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I caught one we can eat, yeah. stupid David. There we go. <laughs> no, I'm not going nice to get it up. Nice little rockfish there. Whew, I feel so accomplished, thank God. <laughs> yeah, you just wait, I'm going to catch a f***ing whale. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time to head on back and eat the fish that I caught, because I caught the only one that we can actually eat. Yeah, but you but you got the f***ing rockfish, dude. Nobody gives a f*** about those. Yeah, dude, dude rockfish! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have these old fashions here with some whiskey, but why are we here in this donut area? So we're doing collaboration with Duke Spirits with the bourbon. And who are you? I'm Miss Mini Donuts, so my name is Leslie. Nice to meet you. David, nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, so I just like, do I dip it in there? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to just let that soak all in there. <laughs> You're crazy. Whiskey and donuts. Whiskey and donuts. Like yeah. The donut and bourbon. Okay, Ooh. I'm down. Oh, that's fire. Oh. Ooh. That's really good. That's really good. I like that. Damn. I'm going to start dipping donuts in my whiskey from now on. Yeah. First thing in the morning. Spear me. Hey, dude. Spear me, okay? Spear me your feelings. Let's cross our, cross our swords. Oh, cute. Hey, that's good. Wow. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Get out of here. <laughs> Hey man, say what you will about the bougie whites, but they throw a great food festival. What was your favorite thing that you ate today? I would have to say it would have to be the hamachi tostada with the guajillo chilies. Really? The first thing we ate? Yes, man. I like that toasty, toasty, roasted guajillo chili sauce on that. You know what I really liked? Actually, I really liked that little, um, that little beef pie that we had. Oh, the, the prime rib beef yeah. pie? The fancy hot pocket. Yeah, you, I like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I like I that. Like, I, like I like that. that. I like that. I like that. Well, sh thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you tune in. What do I say? And as y'all know, we've been reading these comments, so keep leaving comments below. We might just shout you out, like Eileen Martinez, who said, name a better duo. I'll wait. Uh, uh, Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen. Never. All right. <laughs> and shout out to Lolita. Ash, who says, I wish these guys were my best friends. We are. We are. You just not picking up uh, our, uh, we've been sending you pics and you ain't been replying. <laughs> I know. How fucking dare you? I'll be showing up in your house, <laughs> knocking on the door with your parents there. Don't make it creepy. Ah, I said their parents are there. I know their parents. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm Timothy Delaghetto. And I am David So. Thanks for watching, bitch!